And remember I said we actually had buffalo tracks back there. These look like these two lionesses that we bumped into last night on our way back to camp. Um, I'm not too sure, but I think this might be two lionesses from the Nkuhuma Pride. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Oh, this is incredible. Now watch closely while this lioness is feeding. Just something I'd like to point out which is very interesting. See how she's chewing with the side of her mouth. And she's tearing away at that meat. Now lions and other big cats have something that is known as a carnassial shear. What that is, is the teeth the, in the back of the mouth, the molars and the premolars can see she's chewing there again using those those teeth they are slightly sharpened they end in a sharpened edge and they overlap each other almost like a scissor motion and at the back of the jaw that is obviously where all the very powerful muscles are in the in the jaw and they prefer chewing and tearing with those teeth so that scissor motion with those very sharp teeth and the power allows them to tear and break um, break the meat down very easily. So that is the carnassial shear. They will still use the front teeth to tear open carcasses, but have a look. You see she's chewing with the side of her mouth there. And the other side. Very interesting to see. Looks like the other lioness has eaten her full. There, Brian's focusing on her now. Look at that belly. That is a full stomach. Lions will gorge themselves on meat. They'll eat as much as they possibly can until they cannot feed anymore. They will then go and lie down and rest, just like this lioness is doing. And a little bit later, she'll probably get up and feed again. And they will constantly do that until there's nothing left of that kill. Once they've eaten everything or all the, the really good meat and there's not much left for them to feed on, they'll move off and you might get other scavengers coming in like hyena or potentially vultures although this is a little little covered and it's not a really large kill so I don't think you would get a lot of vulture activity here but you will get hyena and probably a few jackal coming and scavenging off of the remains shows you how far these these lines can travel I mean the where we saw them last night it was right on the other side of the camp north of here um, we kind of in the southern side of Juma at the moment and south southwestern side and they've traveled uh, good good four four kilometers five kilometers but they, they can cover a large distance in the evenings especially and that goes back to what I was saying earlier. You know, we don't really know how far these animals can travel, uh, only from what we track and find in the morning. But uh, in one evening, they can cover huge distances, very active, and especially they will try and hunt under the cover of darkness. Lions are also ambush predators, so they try to use, use the evening to their advantage and sneak up on prey and, and stalk and hunt. And these lines have been successful.